To analyze ChIP-Seq data in LaserGene, first set up a new assembly in SeqMan Engine. Choose ChIP-Seq from the workflow page and select Reference-Based Assembly. Now load your reference sequence or genome template package. In this case, I'm going to use a human genome template package that I've downloaded from the DNA Star website. Note that if you plan to combine your ChIP-Seq results with RNA-Seq or any other data, it's important to use the same reference sequence or package for both assemblies. Next, choose your read technology. In this case, I'll select Illumina, and I'm working with single-end data, so I'm going to uncheck this box, and then add your reads. Now we need to specify an experiment for each file that we've loaded. The first file is my control, so I'll label that control. And the rest of the files are part of an E2F1 ChIP-Seq experiment. So I'm going to group those and name that IPE2F1. Next, I'll just specify which experiment is my control. During assembly, the ChIP-Seq peak detection algorithm will subtract out the control signal to identify experimental peaks that rise above background noise. Now on the assembly options page, we can specify the parameters for variant detection, normalization, and peak detection. So since we're working with human data, I'll select diploid variant detection, and I'll also import the variant annotation database. I'm going to leave the normalization and peak detection methods set to RPM and max, respectively. Now I need to define binding proteins for the experiment. In this example, I'm going to choose position weight matrix, and select Homo sapiens as the organism, and then select E2F1 from the transcription factor list. And I'll also use E2F1 as the binding protein label. Finally, I just need to name my project and specify a save location. Here, you also have the option to save a wiggle file. Then start the assembly. After the assembly is complete, launch the project in ArraySTAR. Here you can assess your data and see peak signals and nearby genes, and look at gene ontology for genes of interest. You can then visualize peaks in GenVision Pro. You can also combine the results with RNA-Seq data in SeqMan Engine for combined gene expression and regulation analysis in both ArraySTAR and GenVision Pro. To learn more about this workflow, or to request a fully functional free trial of our software, please visit our website.